I love practicing stuff. I love the idea of having a healthy practice in your life that's about doing the things that you care about uh, and practicing those things and getting better at them and making it easier to do them. And I was thinking about this recently when I was watching CBS's Late Show with Stephen Colbert. He had on the actress Danielle Brooks and Brooks mentioned that she had gone to school, to the Juilliard School, uh, with John Baptiste. And John Baptiste, uh, if you don't know, is the band leader. So an incredibly talented musician, the band leader for Stephen Colbert's uh, band on The Late Show. And so I'll just show you this little clip of what uh, Brooks said. Now, do you have any stories about John? Any dirt on him? Uh, dirt? I wouldn't say dirt, but John would walk around the halls in the cafeteria with his handheld piano all You mean the, the face piano? The we face, call it face yeah. piano. Yeah. All the time, vibing out. He was probably like the coolest dude at school. Really? Yeah, he actually wow. was. Yeah. <laughs> See, isn't that hilarious? Because he had this like face piano that he was always carrying around with him. Like, that's really strange if people were always carrying around these little instruments with keyboards and they took them everywhere they went and they were just tapping away at them all the time, and that'd be really unusual. So obviously if somebody was doing that, I mean, no wonder they would become a famous musician, a professional musician, because they, they put in so much time practicing on their little face pianos. The thing is, of course, most of us carry instruments with keyboards around with, uh, with us every day and we don't think it's strange. How much time have you invested in playing with that little instrument with a keyboard? Whether you found value with that practice or not, I leave entirely up to you. I mean, these are absolutely amazing instruments. Uh, I use it all the time. It is a way that I can express myself. It's a way that I can do the work I do with people all over the world. So I think these are amazing, but this is also a tool I use to do the thing that I'm really passionate about. I love stories like that uh, with John Baptiste because he is so talented. He is above average, like way above, above, above average. And I mean, he does come from a musical family. You could say that he just has natural talent. But you see in that story that he practiced and has practiced and has practiced for years on the tools of his craft and that produces results. But that level of practice is not unattainable or out of reach for us. I mean, I, I know when I struggled with, especially online compulsions, I used to struggle with all sorts of issues uh, online, uh, I would invest hours every day. Like that was just, that was just normal. Uh, I didn't even think of that as in any way excessive uh, when I was struggling with mental illness. Again, just hours on compulsions, uh, and even, I would just constantly be doing them. So even you know, if I was with somebody else, I was probably also in my head still just going over compulsions again and again and again. Not that different from somebody walking around with a musical instrument who might be talking to you, but is also kind of playing their instrument at the same time. The thing is uh, that practicing a musical instrument all the time makes you really great at music, and practicing ruminating all of the time only makes you really great at ruminating and only produces things like depression and anxiety. So I'm bringing this up because it's so useful to recognize that throughout the day we're practicing. Right? So what are you practicing? Because that is something you're going to become skilled at. Do you want to be skilled at worrying? Do you want to be skilled at playing video games? Do you want to be skilled at judging other people? Do you want to be skilled at checking for text messages that aren't there? Do you want to be skilled at road rage? Do you want to be skilled at hating yourself? Do you want to be skilled at distracting yourself? Do you want to be skilled at being happy or being calm or being upset? Do you want to be skilled at helping people? Do you want to be skilled at worrying about what others think? Do you want to be skilled at expressing yourself through music? You can choose to be skilled at any of those things. All they take is practice. Everything we do during the day is our practice and we experience the rewards of our practice. So for instance, if somebody is constantly practicing being judgmental, so they're constantly saying that sucks, that's stupid, they shouldn't have done that, I shouldn't have done that, that's right, that is wrong, they're so much better looking, that's worthless, that's dangerous. The reward of that practice is depression. It's a totally natural outcome if you just spend all day telling your brain that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Of course your brain is going to go, oh, okay, every, everything is bad. 
we experience the totally natural outcomes of our practice. If we practice making ourselves upset all day, we will make ourselves upset. If we practice making music all day, we will make music. When it comes to taking care of your mental health, if you don't like the results you're seeing, it's worth asking what you're practicing because it's probably the practice that needs to change. What's great is that is something that we can control. We often can't control the outcomes of our practice, but we can make changes in our practice and we can get support from our friends, we can get support from professionals, we can get support from the community to create a healthy practice that produces the results we actually wanna see in our lives. So happy practicing in each moment of your day uh, with whatever you're passionate about, with whatever matters to you. Maybe it's about getting a great face piano that you can play all the time or figuring out something you can do with this little handheld piano thing. <laughs> However it makes music. I think it's out of tune. <laughs>